Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and today I'm going to be doing a H&M unboxing. So I've had the same t-shirts for a while now and I had a white one that turned blue in the wash. I've got holes in them, they've got stains under the armpits because obviously we travel a lot and a lot of sweating. Anyway, long story short, I wanted to get some new t-shirts so I got some from H&M. And whilst I was looking on the website, I also found two pairs of shorts I want to try. I got them in two different sizes, I believe, to try and get the right size. And the reason I want to change my shorts is I do already own shorts, but they're not like high-waisted. And I kind of think that in terms of just trying to get the most outfits out of my backpack, because I'm currently backpacking, um, it would make sense to have everything kind of fit the same. Because at the moment I have shorts that are a little bit, they're not low-rise, but they're not high-rise either which means that I can't wear certain tops with them because they'd be like this much of my tummy out, which I don't want. So I kind of thought if I got myself some high rise shorts, I'd then be able to wear my other crop tops and kind of just have all the different tops I can wear with all the different bottoms rather than like, well, that top goes with these bottoms, but this top goes with this bottoms. And anyway, long story short, I went shopping on H&M and I thought I would do an unboxing for you. It's a big old bag. I think I got about eight t-shirts, something like that, and then four pairs of shorts. So I got two different ones in different sizes. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull whatever comes out first, and that was the shorts. So I've now got to try and find the other pair of shorts. Okay, change of plan. I'm actually gonna get everything out so I can see what I'm looking at. That's denim shorts, denim shorts, t-shirt, that's the other pair of shorts, and then t-shirts. So I did get a lot of t-shirts and I will be showing you them. And kind of, I think depending on which ones I like, I might end up sending some back and get the same, you know, multiples of the same one. Another thing to know is that I wear a lot of light colors apart from this jumper. It's kind of one of the darkest things I own. I don't own any black. Um, I like to wear white t-shirts and creams and neutral shades. So the first thing I pulled out was these shorts. Um, it doesn't have a name on them, but I got a size small and a size medium. Because the models, I had no idea what size to get because the models looked, um, I don't know, just like they were wearing, I didn't know what size to get. Okay, so this one is the small. These are made out of Lyocell polyester. Um, but they're this kind of gold colour actually, like a greeny gold. I'm not keen on the colour. But these will be high-waisted and I think they'll be quite short, but I think they'll also be quite smart. I think with a white t-shirt they could be quite nice. Um, they are very shiny, so I'll have to try them on. I'm not 100% sure, but we will see. I will also be, like, after this section, I'll try it on and then put that in after this. So you can kind of see me unboxing it, trying it on, unboxing it, trying it on. And then the other one I got is just a size medium, so... I think one of the models had them high-waisted, another model had them... Sorry, it's noisy, I know. Another model had... So one model had them high-waisted, another model wore them round by her hips, so it was kind of hard to see what the actual size was. That's the medium, and they look huge, so probably the small is going to be fine. But that's good to know, so I'll try them on for you. So I've just put on one of the white T-shirts for now, so just ignore that for a second. But these are the shorts, and I actually love the fit. And I think I actually quite like the colour as well. I think that's quite um, neutral and nice. And I think it could be dressed up because it's kind of a shiny material. Could be dressed up a little bit. This is a size small, by the way, which fits pretty well. I worry if they might shrink in the wash, they might be too small. But I do think the medium would be too large. So I do actually really like these. I was a little bit unsure, but I think they're really cute. So that's the small i might try on the medium just to see how they feel but i do think it'll just be way too big okay so these are the medium and they feel way too big like i thought they would like they just look really baggy and unflattering here whereas the other ones kind of fit quite smartly so these are definitely going back let's have a look at the other shorts then while we're here so i ended up getting the same size but two different colours because I wasn't sure which colour I would want to go for. Now I was initially looking at, I know it's noisy, I was initially looking at the um, Levi's jeans shorts. I think it was the 501 high-waisted mom fit something or other, but they're like £80, something like that each, whereas these were around 
20, I guess, something like that. I don't remember. But these are high waisted shorts that I wanted to try on. So I've got this lighter blue colour. And then I also got this darker blue colour. Now this is probably the one I'm going to go for, but I thought it'd be worth trying both and seeing which ones I liked best. These seem like they're probably going to fit. They might be a tiny bit tight. We'll have to see. But shorts are obviously not in season at the minute, so it was quite hard finding any of my size. So I'm glad I found two. So hopefully these are fine. This is a UK size 10, Europe 38, US size 6. So again, I'll be trying them on and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so these are the light blue denim shorts. They're a tiny bit tight, but I think that's always the case with denim. You kind of need to wear them a couple of days for them to relax a little bit. But I love how high-waisted they are. But they're also not super tight around the leg, which I really, really like. I think these are brilliant. So you can imagine it with that kind of tucked in. That's probably how I would wear these. They do feel tight, but I think I kind of like my lesson with denim. I always go one size too big and then they get really loose. Whereas I think buying them tight is the best thing to do. So this is the light blue pair. You'll have to let me know what you think about the light blue versus the dark blue. Which ones you think will be better for kind of traveling, backpacking, that kind of thing. But these fit so snug and so nice. So I'm really, really happy with them. And I might even keep both and keep one at home while we go off traveling, we'll see. Right, let's try on the darker blue pair. Okay, so this is the darker blue pair. I think I prefer the fit of the other ones. I don't know why they just felt different, even though I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. This is typically the color I would usually go for, so now I'm not sure. I'll have to watch this back and decide. But please do let me know in the comment section down below which ones you prefer on me. Do you prefer the lighter blue or do you prefer this shade of blue or do I keep both and just try and shove them in somewhere I probably don't need two pairs but yeah let me know what you think about these okay then t-shirts I got one two three four five white tops and then three neutral shades so let's start with the white I guess it's hard to try and keep the plastic with each one isn't it in case you decide to return it. So I always get my t-shirts in large just because I I like that oversized fit. I have quite big boobs and I don't like things, well it depends. Sometimes I go small if I want it tight, otherwise I go large with t-shirts. But this is just a plain white t-shirt. So this one should be fine. It seems like quite a boxy fit, which is typically what I go for anyway, so that's fine. So that's just a white t-shirt. Okay, so this is the white t-shirt I've been trying on with the shorts, but I also want to show it you here in its own kind of section. So it is quite boxy and quite oversized, which I actually really like because it means you can either just tuck the front and then have that kind of flowing out, which is typically what I do, just kind of super casual, like not even <laughs> no effort. The other thing I do sometimes is to kind of pull it forward, twist at the front a couple of times and tuck that bit in so that it's cropped kind of all the way around but it still has that kind of oversized feel which I think is really nice and like I said because I have quite big boobs small t-shirts can sometimes be a bit much for me whereas this is quite nice and just super casual so I love this t-shirt I think it's brilliant definitely keeping this one the next one we have here oh that was that I got some vests which I'm not sure those dogs we're looking after some dogs today but this is the only day i can have this room which is the best one for light and usually it's quiet um so this is a vest i'm not sure this seems a little bit grandma so maybe not but it's a vest that has this kind of lace detailing around the side around the front i mean so i'm not sure about that i will try it on i just think it looks a little bit like underwear it also looks a little bit like something my grandma would wear so i'm not sure about that one Okay, so this one I got in a size small and I can kind of bunch it up if I wear something like these shorts that's high-waisted. Otherwise, I guess if I was wearing something, I don't know, joggers, I could pull it down and kind of cover up my tummy area. This is the one that I wasn't sure about because of the kind of lacy pattern around the top. I don't know if that's just me, but that seems, it seems like underwear and I'm really weird about underwear as outerwear. So I'm not sure. If I'm going to keep this, to be honest, let me know what you think. I'm undecided. I mean, it is just a cute vest. I think if it didn't have the frilly bits, I would keep it. So maybe I need to have a look in Zara otherwise. I think they do some vests without the frilly bits. So maybe I'll swap it out for something like that instead. But yeah, super cute, super casual and just an easy item, I guess. 
We then have another white t-shirt. They were all different, by the way, in one way or another. I just can't remember. This one is the cropped one, yeah. So they had cropped t-shirts. I got this in extra large because I was like, I don't, this was typically meant to be really tight. And I was like, I don't want it really tight. I kind of want it oversized, but I do want it cropped. So I went for an extra large. I don't know if that's going to be too big, but we'll see. Otherwise I can go back and get like a medium or a small, but I thought that could be cute with the shorts, with these shorts to have like high-waisted jeans with a cropped white t-shirt. I think it's going to look really cute. So we'll try that on. But this is the extra large cropped top. So obviously this is XL. So you can tell if this was in my actual size, it would be like, like super sucked in, which is cool for some people. But I think for me, this actually works really well, especially with these shorts. I think it's really cute how it kind of cuts off there. You might see a little glimpse of tummy, but it's not too, you know, over the top. I think I might actually get a second one of these because I do often wear my t-shirts cropped. And I think just having two of these is kind of something that will go with my jeans, my shorts, um, my leggings, my trousers. Everything I have at the moment is high-waisted. So I think this is like a really great fit. And it feels nice as well. You can't see my bra, which is always something that I try and look for so yeah i like this t-shirt i think i'm going to get another one of these the next white top i got is more of a nice top because i don't really have any nice tops well i i bought one but it was really big if that makes sense took up loads of space in my bag so i decided not to take it but i think this could be a nice just a cute little top so i quite liked the ruffle along the sleeves but not along the front so it's not too over the top I just thought that could be quite a cute little basic but that's just a little bit more than a basic if that makes sense so it's a little bit more than a vest top it's got this little frill but it's not super over the top so we'll try that one on okay so this is the kind of cute top that I showed you about that I told you about sorry that has the cute sleeves this is a size medium and I think I could have gone smaller because it does feel quite big but I think it's cute otherwise I think it's something that's really easy to wear that I can just wear it with shorts or jeans or anything like that. I'm sorry I'm looking up here that's my viewfinder it's the only mirror I've got in here. The length is really nice and the sleeves are also really cute so I think I might keep this one as kind of my like going out for a meal or <laughs> doing something nice like a cute little top to kind of wear out when we're traveling that's not just like a plain white t-shirt it's something a little bit different but the thing is I can't get like crazy outfits because obviously we're backpacking I need the set like I need clothes that I can wear over and over and over again and I feel like this is probably one of them. So this one I got a size medium so my sizing has varied from a medium to a large to an extra large but this one I quite liked because it has this gathering along the front here I think that might look quite flattering because like I said I have quite big boobs um, it's also got the little ruffle around the sleeves and around the bottom so I think that might look cute or it might look quite childish so we'll see. Again we shall try that one on. Okay, so this one I got in a medium, and I think I kind of love it. <laughs> it does accentuate my boobs because it's quite a tight material, so it's quite tight around here, and obviously with this kind of ruching at the front, um, it does highlight them, which is not always a bad thing. I feel like oftentimes I want to hide them, but it's not that bad. Um, but I think this is like, again, I like this length of cut because a lot of my, like my jeans are this high, my shorts, my trousers, my leggings, they're all high-waisted. So tops this length are actually perfect because it just means that they stop off at the right point. And yeah, so I think I quite like this top. I think I'll keep this one as well, so that's a good one. And then in terms of the kind of neutral shade tops, I got this one, which is just a plain um, vest top. I got this one in a small so my sizing really just changed from like small medium large extra large but i got a small in this one so it'd be quite tight um could be cute with like tucked in with the shorts again okay so this one i got in a small which is quite tight i probably could have done a medium but i quite like vests to be tight because then if you want to wear like a cardigan or like an oversized shirt or anything over the top let me just grab mine i can show you that Okay, so this is an oversized shirt that I bought um, last year before traveling. And I think this kind of outfit is such a cool, like, go-to travel outfit for me because this I can take off and tie around my waist if it gets too hot. I can also snuggle up and get nice and warm. It's an added layer. But I think this kind of vibe is my, like, essential travels. So I actually really like this. I thought it was going to be too tight or too dull. Like, you know, the color was too dull, but I actually think it's fine. 
The next t-shirt is this kind of mushroom shade, I guess. I got this one in a medium because this one looked quite large anyway. I didn't feel like I had to go, you know, a few sizes too big. It looked quite oversized. I don't know if that's going to wash me out though. I usually go for like orangey shades rather than grey shades, but they didn't really have any. Okay, so this was designed to be oversized because this is a medium and I feel like it's bigger than the large that I got earlier in the white one. So this is meant to be oversized, so I get it. Um, I think it's actually quite cute just like that, like over the shorts. But you could again do the kind of twist and tuck scenario, if I can do it one-handed there we are so you can kind of do that which means it's like super oversized which I actually really love the fit of this this is like my kind of vibe like really over the size over oversized <laughs> t-shirt so I think that's really nice and the color is fine I think it washes me out a little bit I would love if it was within like a warmer shade it's kind of a grayish so it's fine it's neutral enough I think so I think I'll probably keep this one so the last t-shirt is this one. I got this one in a large and this is a kind of um, sand colour I guess which I think is probably my favourite of the coloured ones. Like I think that looks, I mean we'll have to see when I actually try it on but I think that's going to look a lot nicer than this shade. I'm not really a grey, I don't know, we'll try it, we'll see. I'm going to try this one on and you will see what I think once I've tried it on. Okay and this one I got in a large, you can see it's a similar fit to the one I just tried on that was a medium. Uh, it's probably even smaller actually so this one is obviously a different cut basically but this one's a lot warmer it's still quite yellow toned it's kind of sandy yellow so it i do like it um i just kind of either prefer white or warm colors i think yeah i think it's fine it's a little bit more like my skin color i guess which can look like i'm a little bit naked but apart from that i do i do love like a denim short and an oversized t-shirt look so happy with this one as well I think okay so thank you so much for watching please do let me know in the comment section down below which of the blue shorts you like either the light blue or the darker blue denim shorts and also which of the t-shirts I should keep now obviously I tried on well, like seven or eight t-shirts I don't know if I can fit them all in my backpack but let me know which was your favorites and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my travel content coming up and I hope to see you soon bye